Okay, so I just got this in. It's a PIP uh, 242424LV-MSD. It's a 2.4 kilowatt, um, 24 volt DC, all-in-one inverter uh, for 120 line. And the thing I like about this is you can stack six of these units together to get 14 kilowatt units. Um, comes with the cables, comes with the software, I heard there's some better software so I'll have to search for that. Some mounting brackets and the uh, cables for communications and other stuff. So it comes in a pretty nice box, it's pretty heavy, one heck of an inverter that's for sure. So I'm going to stand it up and take it out. Get rid of the box. There we go. Get rid of that stuff. Now, this would not be for a grid tied situation. So, if you're going to run, say you have a barn out in the middle of nowhere, and you want to put some solar up, and you don't want to run a line, or you have a cabin, this would be a perfect unit for that. So, what we have here is in the back, right here. This is the line in where you can actually connect a plug for an outlet to charge your batteries with. And you have the ground, uh, I believe line and neutral, and then this is the output of line and neutral. And you would take your other ground from the one that you're going to use from the inverter, and you would tie it into the ground here. So you you tie both grounds here, and of course the input for the AC, the output for the AC. Okay, now this is your battery connecting here. It says positive and negative. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let me see if I can get a little better shot for you. And so you attach your positive battery cable here and your negative here. Um, now one thing, I would put a switch on this so you can turn this off and on, make it easier to connect and disconnect from the batteries if you need to, um, without, you know, having to unscrew the wire. Um, the next part, this is some communication stuff right here. Um, this is for USB. That's for a switch. This has fuses here. You can see right here it has fuses. This is where the fuse cover is at, right here. And this is for other stuff that I'm not going to talk about right now. This is where your solar will go in, the PVN positive for your positive part of your solar system and the negative and that can hold up to like a six uh, gauge wire these are four gauge it's going to your batteries now what I like about this unit of course you would tie your ground to here so you would ground the unit as well um, that's basically it with this unit right here you mount it on the wall Wired up. Yet, if you have 12 volt batteries, you're going to have to put them a couple of two 12 volt batteries in series. And I'm going to go over that later on in this video. And to make a 24 volt battery system. Now, you can buy 24 volt batteries. The biggest um, downfall to that is what if you want to use that battery in another system? You decide you want to reconfigure it. Well, if you have a 12 volt system, like most of the simple ones are. Um, you would have to get another battery instead of just taking a battery out, a couple of batteries out. So that's this part of this. Um, you have a control board software. You can hook it up to the computer. This is really nice. Like I said, this would be for a off-grid situation, but also in this part right here, the input for the AC, you can also put, um, this is a reset. You know what this is for. Um, you can put a, a generator on this instead, in case you needed to run a generator into it to charge the batteries, or an AC wall outlet. So it's pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy duty. This is the uh, this is does a 60 amp charge on the batteries, and it does a 80 amp on the output. So it's got quite a bit of power. Now one thing I wanted to mention is that the input voltage over here for the uh, the solar the positive negative PVN 
positive and negative. You're going to have to have at least 30 volts for this machine, this all-in-one inverter to actually you know, run. You can use up to 30 to 80 volts DC. So, in other words, with each panel being approximately 18 volts of raw voltage DC output, you uh, you would want to uh, put a couple of panels in series and then parallel them if you wanted 36, 36 volts. Or you could just do all four. And doing all four would push you pretty close to the 80 volts DC, so I would probably say that's probably not going to be the greatest idea. So I think paralleling two panels, two 100 watt 12 volt panels, which are going to put out about 18, 17, 18 volts DC of raw uh, DC voltage. You'd want to parallel those. You want to you want to put two in series and then parallel the four units. And if you think about it, if you had a um, eight panels, you would series four of them. You would series um, four sets of two together, and then you would parallel them with a uh, splitter, a four-way splitter, running into one unit, so you could run your voltage in here and there, and 36 volts.